Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Tactical Dad Podcast. I'm your host, Matthew Cook, and I am the Tactical Dad. Today's episode, or this episode, because I've done a few today, this episode, we are going to talk about EDC gun belts. Why? Because we sell a quality EDC gun belt. I'm going to be transparent and straight up about that. And it seems to be a topic that is talked about. And what comes up is, uh, should I buy a core essentials gun belt? Or should I buy a next belt gun belt? Core versus next belt gun belts. How do they compare? That that right there, that comes up quite often. And my company sell core and next belt. And I will say they are awesome people at the companies. They're a very good belt, quality belt. We charter tactical that owns on um, second day men. Our you know our brand second day men is uh, an EDC brand. We sell different everyday carry products, and one of them which we have tried to focus on the most is the EDC gun belt. And I can tell you now the quality of our belt, just because we've been, I said we, I've been around gun belts, EDC belts for so long. I, it's the thing I get the most. It's the thing I know the most. And I can tell you our, our belt stacks right up alongside them. I will go as far as saying they are both way more established than we are. And, um, they have lots of cool designs. Clearly, you can see they've got way more designs than we have, and they they have they have awesome looking belts. They they do such a re- such a good job. They both have their own intellectual property. Now, I'm going to give you my honest take on core versus next belt. Core seem to be thicker, stronger, stiffer, more rigid than next belt. Core also seem to be uh, less comfortable. They're not as comfortable as an X belt. I only know that because I've I've worn both and I've worn mine. I've worn both for for ages, years. So core's very stiff. I think core is very tactical, military like look, vibe, feel, and yeah, there are some nice buckle designs that will make you uh, want to use for everyday i don't know just every day with a pair of jeans but you know i think you'll find after sitting down a few places and walking around moving around you'll you'll feel that it's not that comfortable it kind of digs into your side into your stomach if you lean over if you've got you know if if you're a dad if you've got like i am you've got a little bit of a dad bod which mine's almost gone now, but I did, and it kind of dug into the side of me, and it wasn't very comfortable. I just honestly tell you straight up, that's not a that's not a dig at core for uh, like the quality of the belt. It's really really good. I, I imagine if I was going into battle, I would probably want to use it. And uh, yeah, good belt. Now next belt, also very stiff, very rigid. Won't fold over, can do the job of carrying any gun, magazines, pouches, you name it, just as just as well as core. But it's it's more comfortable. Sorry, I said but I should say and it's more comfortable. I think next belt is more comfortable. It's it yes, it's strong, it's stiff, it's rigid, but not as much as core. So I prefer the next belt in that sense, from that perspective, that's more comfortable. And then you've got the second day men belts. So our belts are like a blend between the two. Stiff, rigid, strong. I think that's that's just essential to a good gun belt, good EDC belt anyway. So that you just, you gotta get right. And that's just make sure you get the right denier, the right type of nylon and you know, Make sure you got the right type of ballistic nylon, and, and you should be good. But the denier count is like, is like I think and believe where it's at. So cause is like a thousand, just or or oh, just over a thousand if it's if it's measured properly. 
I think next belt is around 800, 8900. Um, sorry, um, around six to 800. And that's where ours are. Our, we, we stay at ours are 600. It's, it's like 600 and, and change. That's the sweet spot. It's strong enough to carry multiple firearms, multiple pouches, magazine pouches, everything. It can, can hold it all the whole way around the belt. The belt's not folding over, but it's also comfortable. So we are, we're right at the sweet spot. And I think that next belt are close to that as well. The only thing I think that our second day men belts, I guess, I guess are lacking is um, our variety of buckle, say shape, see there's only really one buckle. Well, there's, only, there's not too many different shapes of a buckle, but the buckle shapes and designs, colors and textures, yeah, we don't we don't have a lot. We are developing them. We are working with our manufacturer. I say we, I am. I'm working with our manufacturers. I'm talking to dis different design teams all over the place, different individuals, engineers, to bring to market more second amen EDC gun belts. So we've got a much more variety for you. So that's where we lack. Whereas next belt's been going a lot longer, and they have they got tons of designs. Lots of really cool ones too. So that I think is our Achilles heel right now is we don't have as many variations and designs. Core essentials have tons. And uh, I think in terms of nylon gun belts, you gotta, that's where you gotta look. Core essentials, next belt. And I would give ours a try simply because we are, because we're new to the market, we are priced a little lower just to help us kind of get our foot in the door. But the quality of the nylon is is just as good. It's super comfortable and uh, it does it does the job for what you want for about ten dollars cheaper. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's where we're at. I would if it's core versus next belt. My personal preference is going to be go with next belt. If it's going to be more used for me, use more everyday situations. If you are, if it is for <laughs> missions and tactical, like, you know, airsoft, like matches and events and all that, then maybe because you have a different purpose, make sure, like grab a core essentials. But if you're, if you are interested in trying a new belt, Try our second MN belts. We have a style that is more tactical looking. We have a style that is more everyday looking as well. So try them out a little bit cheaper. Save yourself a few bucks and get just as much bang. That's all from me today. We'll be back tomorrow with, an upper ab an blah, 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 with another episode on the Tactical Dad podcast. Thanks for joining us and I'll see you again soon.